Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to talk to you about transportation. One billion people in the world today do not have access to all season roads. One billion people, one seventh of the Earth's population are totally disconnected from all social and economic activity for some part of the year. We cannot get medicine to them reliably. They cannot get critical goods. They cannot get their goods to market in order to find a sustainable income. Now, mainstream thinking suggests that these nations should invest in building roads following the lead of the developed world. Well, it's a pretty tall order. It's estimated it's going to take sub-Saharan Africa 50 years to catch up on road infrastructure. So we saw this and we thought, can we leapfrog? Can we put together a solution using today's most advanced technologies that will allow these countries to catch on to the, to the next paradigm of transportation? After all, many of these nations have excellent telecommunications today, but they've never put copper lines in the ground. Can we do the same for transportation? Imagine this scenario. You are in a clinic in rural Africa, and you have a baby in need of urgent medication. What would you do today? Well, you would place a request via mobile phone. Someone would get the request immediately. That's the part that works. The medicine may take days to arrive, though. That's the part that's broken. Imagine if we can deliver the medicine within hours or even minutes with a small autonomous flying vehicle such as this, or this over here. This can transport a small load today, about two kilograms, and travel a short distance, about 10 kilometers. But it's part of a wider network that may span an entire country, maybe even the entire continent. We call this Matternet. We believe this can be the next paradigm of transportation using three key technology components. The first is unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Little vehicles like this one, they travel autonomously between landing stations. That's the second component of the technology. Landing stations swap batteries for the vehicles to fly in and fly out again, or pick up or deliver loads, help them to do that. The third component is the operating system that runs the whole network, that optimizes the routes of the vehicles through the network and guarantees the security and the safety of the whole system. Again, the key here is the autonomy of the solution. There's no humans involved. These vehicles fly following GPS waypoints. They fly at an altitude of 400 feet to allow us to, be, to have them segregated from all other air traffic. When they arrive at the ground station, they land vertically, autonomously. They swap a battery and fly out again, or they pick up or deliver a load. They can travel a distance of 10 kilometers in just 15 minutes. And I want to show you what this looks like this is a video from this vehicle over here. We were out in Haiti last month, and we're doing a mission here in one of the camps in Port-au-Prince. We're landing just outside the tent that houses the clinic and do a medical delivery. There's no infrastructure involved in this one. We think this could be revolutionary. Imagine if we connected all rural clinics in Haiti, or in Mali, or in South Africa in a network that allowed them to get medicine with zero time lag, or allow them to send samples for diagnostics for HIV, for TB, again, instantly. What's the critical component here, the cost? Today, we have a cost of 24 cents per delivery. That's doing 20, one, one delivery means two kilograms over 10 kilometers. We want to see this dramatically improved over the coming years. We are riding a wave of amazing technological innovation that's happening in this space. In academia, in the open source community, technology that is striking down the military that will allow us to do this at scale. One of the most exciting applications we're looking at that will allow us to scale is transportation of small packages in megacities. We're building megacities at an unprecedented rate today. What they share in common? Congestion. We think we can do last mile delivery transportation in megacities aerially by creating a system of transportation that sits between the road and the internet. So imagine this. Imagine if Matternet was the next big network we created across the globe that would allow us to do for transportation what mobile did for communications. Thank you. 
Thanks. Thank you.